I'm currently in the process of making a Sailor Moon review right now, and I cannot believe I have to put that to the side for just a tiny moment to make this announcement. So for those who don't know, we finally, finally have the Dead Moon R confirmed for Sailor Moon Crystal. Um, well, we've had it confirmed for a bit ever since January, but what we didn't know is that instead of a fourth season, the Dead Moon arc is now going to be made into two movies. Um, so this comes as pretty surprising news, especially for Sailor Moon fans who aren't really fans of other anime. Uh, for those who don't know, this is not something unique to Sailor Moon. This has happened plenty of times before. Um, big examples include Digimon Try, when Digimon came back. Instead of doing an anime season, they did little mini movies instead. Um, and then the Dragon Ball Super movies are another example. Um, so what we do know right now is that Chiaki Kon, the director of the third season, in my opinion, the person who saved Sailor Moon Crystal, who made me a convert to Sailor Moon Crystal, is coming back for these two movies. I am super excited to hear that. Um, most of the staff, from what I understand, is coming back as well. Also great news. Um, and then as far as animation quality and other things are concerned. We don't know if this is going to be a typical theatrical theatrical release where the movie stays in theaters for a significant amount of time, or if it's just going to be some kind of special event where they can technically say it was in theaters, but it was only in theaters for like a day or two. Um, either way, I think that we're probably going to get either the same animation quality as season three or better. So for me, this isn't the best situation I think we could have possibly ever had, but I don't think it's that bad of one either, especially considering, and I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on this YouTube channel, but it was my personal hope that they made Stars into a movie instead of its own season, because I think that Stars in particular, not this arc, so the final one, it lends itself more to a movie format than it ever would a TV show format. So I'm very optimistic about that season, but with this season, it's kind of up in the air. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll see. So really quick, I'm going to give you my expectations for what I think these movies are going to be. So for those who haven't read the manga, I definitely recommend skipping forward in this video to this time code um, because I'm going to get a little bit into spoilers. So what I expect is going to happen is that they're going to split the movies at a very particular point in the manga. So for those who don't know, the manga for Super S begins with the inner soldiers, the inner guardians, whatever you want to call them, um, gaining some new power. They go through a little mini character arc, they get a new power, and you know, ta-da, it's great. Uh, so Sailor Venus is a little bit different though in that when she goes through her little character arc, um, it gets doesn't get a resolution right away. Um, there's a point where she's dangling off of this platform, Artemis goes to save her, and then Artemis gets crushed by a rock, um, and that's where it ends. There's like a huge cliffhanger, um, and I think the movies are going to adhere to that cliffhanger. I think that the first film is going to end right at that point, and then the second film will begin when the Outer Soldiers or the Outer Guardians are introduced. Um, I think that's that introduction like little thing where you know they go through Hotaru's new childhood it lends itself very well to the possible introduction of a new film. Um, what I would hope would happen but I don't think it's going to happen is that instead of ending it on you know Venus dangling from the platform Artemis getting crushed I hope instead that they do something different with it. Um, I know that, like, people are very, very particular about being true to the manga, but Sailor Moon Crystal has already um, deviated from the manga, at least, you know, with the Four Generals and some other minor examples, so I don't think it would be that much of a crime if they did it in this case. I would like the thir first film to have its own climax, like, say, um, the minor antagonists, you know, Fisheye and friends, instead of getting killed off like they do in the beginning parts of the manga, maybe instead have them all escape in some way, kind of like the four generals did, and then come back at the end for some kind of big fight. Um, yes, I understand that, like, you know, people want to see the Outer Soldiers and the Outer Guardians, um get introduced properly, but you can still introduce them in a nice sort of cliffhanger-ish way. Like maybe say in the first film they're fighting against these three antagonists, they think they almost got them, they don't really got them, and then in comes Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, and Saturn to deal that final blow. You end it right there with them, you know, posing and saying, yeah, we're back! And then it's 
the hype creates itself. Like, that's honestly what I hope will happen, but I don't think is going to happen. So my final thoughts on this, it's kind of an interesting time for Sailor Moon fans. We've never really had anything like this before. Um, depending on how well these movies do could mean that we get a Stars movie, that we get something else maybe in the future. I honestly hope they do Stars right. I'm super optimistic about uh, Super S or Dead Moon right now. Either way, it's an interesting time and I'm glad you're all here with me to experience it. Until next time, this is CJ, signing off.